Sarge is on the radio to command. There it is. Come in, come in, come in. Hey, dude, this is Command. Go ahead, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, Vic, this is Sarge from Blood Gulch Outpost number one. Oh, hey, dude, hey, dude, I, I think my radio needs to be tuned in a little better. Hold on a second, dude. Ooh. Almost there, dude. <laughs> okay, that's good, dude. <laughs> All right, what'd you say? Blood Gulch? Oh, yeah, right, Blood Gulch. Know that one. You remember me? Uh, actually, no way, dude. No, I don't. I was just faking. I said what you said. Uh, hold on, dude. Let me look up you up in the old uh, database here. Ah, here we go. Got your stats right here. Blood Gulch. Wow, you guys are terrible at everything, aren't you? We need some help. Dude, according to my records, you need a lot of help. Don't undersell yourself, dude. One of our soldiers has been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Don't you mean captured? No, kidnapped. I left a ransom note. What should we do? Uh, you guys do know that you're in a war, right? Yes, we have been made aware. Well, we don't really call it kidnapped during war. We call it captured. Is there an enemy base somewhere nearby? Like Blue Base? There you go, dude. Blue Base. Yeah, maybe you should check there. They probably have your dude. Brilliant. Why did not think of that? That's actually a really good question, sir. You blame the blues for everything around here. You blame them when our equipment's broken. You blame them when we run out of ammo. You blame them when the water tastes bad. Okay, Simmons. Stop ad-libbing. <laughs> well, then cut me off sooner, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I blame the blues for that as well. Hey, dudes, I don't mean to bust it up, but this is long distance. Can you hurry up, please? <laughs> You even, you, even, you even blamed them once when it rained. I get it. Now shut up. I'm on the phone. Well, that was rude. Uh, hey, dude, in the meantime, here's what I can do for you. Uh, since you're a man down, I can send you some reinforcements. You mean like a freelancer? No way, dude. Those guys are expensive as hell. Plus, attitude. Well, what do you got? Uh, let me see here. Uh, how about a medic? A medic? You mean like Doc? Yeah, I mean exactly like Doc. Uh, hold on, let me see if he's available. I'll well, add him onto this call. Oh, you mean add him to, to this call? The one we're on now? Right. Would that be a problem, dude? I uh, guess not. Maybe we should just call him later, though, you know, when I'm not on the call. Nah. <laughs> nah, I got his number right here. I'll just ring him up. Hang tight, Sarge. Derp, 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 derp. <laughs> Don't steal the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Psst. Hey, Simmons, come here. Take this call from me. No, no, you yelled at me. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> come in, Doc. Hello, Doc. Ring-a-ding, dude. Hello. Hello, this is Doc. Uh, hey, Doc. This is Vic from Command, dude. Got a job for you. Oh, hey, Vic. Great. Where do you need me? Place called Blood Gulch. Got Sarge on the line for you now. Gonna connect the two of you. <laughs> this, is the, this is the first time I'm reading this. Uh, <laughs> he's on the line now, you say? Uh, yeah, yeah, let me click over. Uh, hey, Sarge, you there? I'm here. Doc, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Sarge. I'll tell you what. Uh, go ahead and explain what's up here to Doc. Me? Yeah, dude. Go ahead. Oh, uh, hey, Doc. Hey, Sarge. It's weird to hear from you. <laughs> I feel the same way. Listen, we have a kidnapped soldier over here. Oh, no. Who is it? Griff. Who would kidnap Griff? Apparently someone with a lot of latex gloves and hand sanitizer. Bottom line is, we're a man down, and we think the Blues are going to attack at any moment. Can you help us? Sure, uh, what do you need? Need to bolster the squad. How's your kill count these days? Super high. Wait, do you mean on the battlefield? Zero. I thought you meant on the operating table. Oh, great. 
Don't tell me you're still one of those lame, uh, pacifa, whatever's... Pacifists? Yeah. Yeah, Sarge, I still am. You don't just turn that off when it's convenient. It's not like being a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> well, get down here. We're attacking soon, and we need all the help we can get. Sir, wait. I thought you said the Blues were attacking us. They are, but we're not going to wait around for that to happen, Simmons. As everyone knows, the best defense is a good offense. So let's put our defense to work attacking their offense before they have a chance to establish a good defense by attacking us first. I'm just going to go load my gun, sir. Good man. Doc? Get down here. Need you to patch up Simmons when he gets killed. On my way. Dude, does uh, anybody ever tell you guys that you sound kind of alike? Never. <laughs> Never ever. <laughs> hey, Vic. Uh, while I got you on the line, uh, why don't we call Blue Base? Let's have you talk to church. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a good idea? Where's Lopez? He probably thinks that's a good idea. Right, Lopez? Where are you? Nah, dude, don't think we have time for that. See you later, bye. Click. No! Oh. Vic hangs up. Caboose, come on. Oh, also, yeah, the, the work went super fast because I found a new radio station to listen to. You know that cool song about a red base and a command? Wait a second, wait a second. What radio station were you listening to? Oh, the one inside my helmet. You know, the one with the voices. <laughs> wait, we have radio stations inside our helmets, right? Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so, what did these voices say to you? Oh, yeah, they talked about how Griff was missing, and the red team only had two men now, and how they really needed some help. Tucker, I think he might have intercepted a call from the Reds. I think he's just fucking crazy. <laughs> hey, Caboose. If the voice tells you to do anything to your parents, just remember, church is your father figure. Yeah, the voice didn't say anything like that. Uh, but you know, they did call me a dirtbag every now and then. <laughs> it makes me feel bad about myself. Also, some of the voices sound like some of the other voices. <laughs> Not, no, they don't. Well, what can you do? Casting is expensive. Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> 